Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Drummer's Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of Koto stave drums from De Broisi Custom Drums. It was back in 2018 when we last looked at a sample of De Broisi snare drums, which were some of the first snare drums that drum builder Sam De Broisi had constructed. Since then, Sam has continued his journey of making snares from recycled materials, making his drums some of the coolest and most unique available in the UK today. The pair of snares we have here today are made from Koto, an African hardwood, and started life out as a woodworking bench. In fact, the air vents are actually the old bolt holes that once held the bench together. Both drums sport 45 degree inner cut bearing edges with an outside roundover to promote more head to shell contact. Elsewhere, both have 20 strand snappy steel snare wires, vintage tube lugs, traditional snare throw off and triple flanged hoops. They are furnished with Remo controlled sound batter heads over Remo Ambassador hazy resonant heads. Both drums have a UK retail price of £499, but before we go any further, let's take a closer listen and then come back for our thoughts.
First impressions are really good. The light, blonde-coloured African Koto and gleaming chrome hardware combine for a classy-looking duo. Upon first glance, you may be forgiven that thinking that the air vents are unfinished, as most snares sport metal collars. However, when you consider the origin of the wood, they make much more sense and become somewhat of a feature. In use and at a medium tuning, you get a full-bodied warm sound with plenty of articulation and fundamental note. The 14-inch has slightly more depth, whereas the 13 has more attack, but both give an overall very musical and pleasing tone. Take the tuning down low and you get much more depth, especially from the 14-inch drum, but this also comes with much more sustain on both drums. For live situations, this may not be too much of an issue, but for close mic and studio sessions, the drums would certainly benefit from a touch of dampening. Finally, crank the heads up high and you get a much drier, funkier sound. This is where the 13-inch really comes into its own, but the 14 is no shrinking violet either. Both are loud, aggressive, crisp and articulate, with plenty of projection. Overall, both drums are very pleasing to play, giving a musical, warm and articulate overall tone that works well in all tuning ranges. The stave construction and thick shells make for a pair of substantial instruments, however they are surprisingly not as heavy as their spec sheet may first suggest. The build quality is pretty decent, although there are a couple of rough spots, particularly around the naked air vents, that said, the bearing edges feel smooth and even, while the tuning rods are silky, making tuning easy. As far as custom drums go, these are certainly unique. African Koto is a wood we've certainly never encountered before, and with both drums having had a previous life, they definitely feel pretty special. Style-wise, the 13-inch stands out as making a perfect funky pop snare while the 14-inch would work in a host of musical settings, except perhaps for the heaviest of rock or metal. With both drums priced at £499, we think that these offer decent value for money, especially given their heritage and construction methods. De Broisi certainly have a unique approach to drum building, and if these drums are anything to go by, we look forward to seeing more of them in the future. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future videos and we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.